500 likes, I think it's time to step down. Before I took the clips in the next one, I was feeling a bit guilty because I was literally taking everything this man has on his account. I felt like a villain who took everything from him. That's a stupid movie reference, by the way. But then I thought about it. It's not my fault that this man only has six videos on his TikTok account. Plus, if you gather all these clips together without a single cut and you try to squeeze it down to the last second and you pray hard, you barely reach three minutes. So let's start. Turn around and lay down. It's only going to hurt for a second. Original Smith, that's the name of our guy. He is the first man on earth to be named Smith. Somehow he managed to live all this long to have a TikTok account and live in a haunted house. In his profile picture, he has a teddy bear, which made me wonder why would an independent man at this age have a teddy bear as his profile picture? That's weird. But after watching the videos, I realized it could be the main problem. This teddy bear has brought the devil into Smith's life, as if he had lived among angels before. Regardless, Teddy can be seen moving, not only his body but also objects around him, throwing Smith's stuff on the ground menacingly, as if this precious stuff were stolen, not that Smith had to put all his sweat and tears into purchasing it. That's scary, but I don't know why Teddy has the basement door in his head. noises coming from this door all morning. So I'll just sit here and record it for a minute. If I were Teddy, I mean, if I were Smith, I would have taken that freaking door and ripped it off that wall, then I would throw it to hell. I don't need headaches. But obviously, I can't be in Smith's position, I can't afford a house with a basement. In fact, I can barely afford the basement alone. Jack in the haunted old house and I can already smell my own breath. Believe me, it's more terrifying than the haunted house in this upcoming investigation. So, what's the deal with this house? Nothing, just some dude who decided he is too rich to live in such a place. So he moved out. 
and the happened so long ago that his older property is now rusty and rotten, just like your brain. But ever since he left it, random people in this country have visited the place and decided to call it haunted. And that's when Jack decided to step in and solve the problem. What problem? To fix the electrical problem in his car. He went to a car mechanic and was robbed by the price he charged him. Anyway, as Jack was investigating, he found an old rusty wheelchair. Jack felt like it was time to break his own legs and put this thing to some use, and while he was trying to get a closer look at it, it moved all of a sudden, as if it was trying to tell him, Can you leave me to some dang rest? I can't be used anymore. Can you not see? So Jack moved on, but he was thinking about it all the time, as if he had found the love of his life. And while he was going from one room to another, he noticed the wire swinging on its own, while the other wires were still. But actually he didn't mind it because he didn't actually see it. I was the one who saw it, not him. Then later on, and while he was walking, some black monk can be seen in one of the rooms sitting. But this monk was only there for the first shot, not for multiple ones. I'm talking about a video shot, not a pistol shot. Just because it has the color black doesn't mean it's what you think. Ooh, Hello? That just moved on the phone. What the f this EMF's going crazy, man. See someone there. I think that guy sitting over there was trying to have some privacy, but why was he covered in black? It's not about the color, that was just the only coat he could find and it was cold in there, so he had to cover himself. I'm trying to make sense out of the situation. We have talked about grown people bringing plushies to their homes, and how ridiculous it can be. But here is yet another man who brought a doll to his house. And here is a problem with Ivan, our next guy. Ivan has a collection of toys in his room. It's not about the toys, nor its relationships with kids. 
It's okay for an old man to play with toys. I mean, that's my excuse that I keep using when kids ask me why I am playing with their toys. If you want to make them feel comfortable at this age, you've got to act childish. But I would never dare bring dolls and plushies into my home, because I know what the elders said. They said, plushies and dolls, innocent in youth, but as we age, they lose their truth. Once safe and warm, now hauntingly old, their magic is gone as we unfold. I never knew our elders were this dramatic about something as stupid as this. Regardless, Ivan brought the Chucky doll. I would have tolerated the situation if it was any random doll, but Chucky. Dude, you're literally telling the devil, hey man, can you come and fuck me up? And along the way, can you bring some food with you? I'm too broke. That last bit was me. Anyways, what did Chucky do to Ivan? It obviously didn't take a knife and stab him unfortunately, because we wouldn't have seen him then. But here he is, alive and healthy. This version of Chucky is playing on its own, even without batteries. That must be good for the budget. It's also causing stuff to fall. Even when it's inside the box, it's moving. Chairs shaking. It closes doors. It's even breaking such precious art masterpieces. All that doesn't cover what Chucky should do, I can bring any stupid looking doll and it can do the same and more. That deal Ivan got was a robbery. Ese día hasta lo puse a prueba, le pregunté cómo se llamaba y me contestó. Hola, ¿cómo te llamas? Hola, soy Chucky y soy tu amigo. ¿Cómo te <risa> Mi mamá ya me había comentado que cuando yo me iba, ella entraba a mi habitación y encontraba el muñeco boca abajo a un costado de la cama y fueron tres ocasiones y yo no creía. Sin querer tome la caja y encontré las baterías y desde que me lo dieron nunca me percate de eso. Hola Chucky. Chucky. Hola a toda esa gente. Mire, que me han dicho, me han comentado ahí muchas cosas. Pues negativas y no negativas, pero bueno, como les dije, pues esto es una red para entretener que saber diferenciar lo que sí lo que no pues ya queda el criterio de cada quien no entonces pues una de las cosas que están mencionando es que es que no usa pilas y no habla y que si es original y que no es original digo eso pues al fin de cuentas de frente entonces pues no sé ahí está se cerró la puerta Ay, no. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué es lo que quieres? Ya me cansé de esto. Si estás aquí o algo, hay algo, dígame, ¿qué quieres? ¿Cómo va a salir? Aquí sí me dio miedo, le pensé en entrar, sentía que alguien saldría corriendo y fue lo contrario, me cerraron la puerta. Alexa, enciende luz habitación. Hay algunas cosas con ese nombre, televisor habitación y espejo habitación. ¿A cuál te refieres? Espejo habitación. Muy bien.
When I was a kid, I had a baby doll that I loved and still love so much to this day. But ever since I left it and my grandma took over, I've been informed that the doll was given to some poor kid. And when I say poor, I mean poor financially. But I will say poor again, because I know for sure that thing was possessed. Poor kid for real. Tagamori is investigating a haunted house in the next video. And this house story goes all the way back to the past. You really thought I was going to tell you an exact date. I'm not that good of a guide. The history of this house is a bit dark. In fact, it's not just a bit, it's so dark that it makes the darkness look brighter. And if you ask me personally, it's so dark that I should shut my mouth and continue the story. In a nutshell, the story is very basic. A family of two parents and a girl were living a very happy life in Japan. And since we are talking about the Japanese family in a horror video, then it's one of two things. Either they were killed by a thief, or they took their own lives. Here, it is the second choice. The girl took her own life after she had a mental disorder, and then her parents completed the cycle and did the same in the same spot. Now let's go back to our investigator. Togo went on exploring each and every room. Of course he would have done that, I mean, that's the whole point of the story. Imagine if he only checked on the room. And as he was going around looking for something unusual, he actually did manage to see what he was hoping for. He never had to use the toilet more than three times in a day, this time, he did it five times. Also, he heard some sounds in the background. Not from his stomach, I'm now talking about the paranormal. It sounds like someone is knocking on doors. Sounds like someone is walking behind him. Sounds that I only hear when I haven't paid the rent for three months. I would always feel like someone was behind me. And that's exactly what Togo has encountered. He didn't encounter my renter, he encountered what looked like a shadow figure. This figure also has nice, shiny long hair, which can be seen when he was sliding under the bed. で、前回ね、来た時にあの、この部屋からさ、うん。カツンカツンカツンって音が聞こえててさ、僕と山さんはね、それを聞いて、ま、全く同じ推測をしたわけだけど。うわ、なんかちょっと待って。この梅木声みたいなの聞こえてるのかな明らかに2階の方からは梅木声みたいなの聞こえてますけど。もう行くしょ。今ちょっと神経が高ぶってるっていうのも原因としてあると思います。ここ
あれなんで電気消えてんだろうもう充電切れしたのかなもう充電切れしたのかなもう充電切れしたのかなみたいなものが時折聞こえたりどこかに隠れてこちらの様子を伺っているようなそんな風に見えますね。I don't know if this picture is of the daughter who passed away, but whether it was or not, it was scary. Not the daughter was scary, it was the way the picture changed. I'm not going to lie to you because I'm a good guy and I never lie. Anyway, this last clip was supposed to be different. It was supposed to be beautiful, pure, and gold, just like a newborn baby who's going up for adoption soon. Long story short, I had a documentary at first, but after receiving a copyright claim, I decided to take it down and replace it with an even worse resolution clip. The Barton Mansion Ghost, that's the title I found in the trash. I mean, I found it alongside this clip. We have a group of random people hanging out together when they come across a weird house. Normal humans would behave like this. Oh, this place definitely has creepy vibes. I don't wish to step any closer to it. But typical Americans always have a different approach. They would be like, oh shit, look folks. A place we should never get near. Do you know what that mean, guys? It means we should do the stupidest thing ever and throw ourselves into this danger. Because what's the point of living a risk-free life? And that's exactly what happened in my mind before they started recording. The investigation isn't very long. They go from one room to another until they reach one of the rooms upstairs. And that's definitely the part where they encountered the ghost. And you would be right. I was going to say something insulting, but I couldn't come up with anything. So yeah, they just found the so-called ghost.
on my back. It's always the scream at the end that catches me. Not that it's the part in which I feel scared, it's the complete opposite. It's when I start laughing. Not hysterically, I'm not that ridiculous to laugh so hard at something as stupid as this. But what usually makes me laugh hysterically is when I see someone skip the subscribe button and not watch the next video on their screen. That makes me laugh intensely, 